solving an equation written in factored form. We're asked to solve and since it's already factored we can see that we actually have two terms being multiplied here and the result is zero. So for this we, we use the zero product rule which says that if you have things being multiplied and the result is zero then one of those things being multiplied has to be zero. So we have two choices either this thing is going to be zero or the other possibility is that this one is going to be zero because one of those has to be zero in order to multiply and have it end up being zero. So let's take the first one first. It says 2v minus 9. One way that this equation would work would be if that is 0. So if I were solving that, I would add the 9 over to the other side. Remember, we're trying to get the v by itself. That gives me 2v equals a positive 9. And then to get the v by itself, I would divide by 2 to get rid of the 2 and I would have V equals 9 halves or you know, let's just say 4.5. Then the other possibility is, well wait a second, there's two terms being multiplied that equal 0 so maybe this guy right here is the one that equals 0. So I could say or 7 plus V equals 0. Uh, solving that one for V, I would subtract the 7 over to the other side. That would cancel, leaving V equals negative 7. So I have two possibilities. Either the V is 4.5, that makes the first term 0, or the V is minus 7, that makes the second term 0. And whenever I'm putting this in, it says if I have more than one solution, I should separate them with commas, so I would say that my answer is negative 7, 4.5. Uh, of course, you could have those the other way around as well.